I think when patients make the choice to come to a cancer center like the Excitement Cancer Center, it's a nationally and internationally renowned NCI certified cancer center. And what, what they're really getting is a team of cancer doctors who approach their cancer in, in different expertise, all thinking about what is best for this patient and what we need to do to get them through those in the safest, but potentially best long-term outcome for them. And there's very few cancer centers like Siteman Cancer Center, uh, and many of those are very, very far away. And uh, it's, in, it's incredible that patients have this available here for them in the Midwest, that they don't have to go you know, travel to one of the coasts to receive this high quality of excellence care. Um, and it's a place where really they're gonna have an uh, available expert for their cancer in every aspect of their cancer care, from the nurses, the nurse practitioners, or mid-level providers, the different types of physicians that treat the cancers. Everybody, you know, spends a lot, a lot of time thinking about how they're going to get patients through the most difficult time of their lives. One of the things that I really emphasize to patients whenever they are told that they may have a spine tumor is that they seek specialty care because if they have a spine tumor that originated in their spine, they need to be at a center that is of unique expertise in dealing with this because at these tumors, we often only have one chance at giving those patients a cancer cure. It's different from tumors that originate elsewhere in their body. When the tumor originates in the spine, we are often able to give them a cure of their cancer if it's the right type of tumor at the right stage and it has not been spilled already. We are looking for minimally invasive therapies to treat patients who are afflicted with spine disease, and particularly patients with metastatic spine disease where the tumor originated elsewhere in their body. We need to think about a way to remove the tumor from their spine without derailing their oncologic care. In addition to that, we also don't want to have to delay the radiation and chemotherapy that they need because we can't give them those therapies while they just had this large surgery. So we are trying to think of ways where we can achieve the goals of taking the pressure off their nerves, their spinal cord, and reconstructing the biomechanical integrity of their spine through very small incisions where they can get radiation as soon as two weeks out of surgery and have very short hospital stays and really get back to spending time with their loved ones, which is probably the most important thing to them while they're in these you know, very difficult stages of their cancer treatment.